Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Somebody want to tell me what's going on over at PBC? Andy Ruiz is now a free agent after terminating his contract with Al Heyman's P PBC by mutual agreement. Hey, PBC, is PBC falling apart? You know, what are we going to see? I mean, for him to leave PBC, obviously he's frustrated with something. But maybe we're going to see him fighting um, Tyson Fury. Maybe we're going to see him go over and, and doing something big over in the UK. But obviously he's not satisfied with what's going on over there at PBC. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. Something is not right with Al Heyman, with PBC, with Showtime, with their roster of fighters. Something is wrong. Something is off. The money is drying up. I'm not sure which one it is. It could be all. All the above. But I'm telling you, something's off. But it goes back to what I said. You know, if you've been subscribed to the channel, you following the videos, you're going to know what I'm about to say. If it's your first time uh, watching any videos from me, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button. You know, and if you hang around for a while, you like what you see, consider donating, right? But I told y'all when Wilder came out here and said, when Malik Scott said that Wilder's in a position where if there's something he does or doesn't, I'm paraphrasing now, does or doesn't want to do, things either happen or they don't. And what I took from that is he definitely doesn't want to fight Ruiz and he's trying to get the Usyk fight. Now, look, look at what's going on, right? All of a sudden now, Wilder is an open agent. Ruiz is leaving. The Wilder-Ruiz fight didn't happen. I figured Wilder and Ruiz, when you peel the layers back, I figured Al Heyman didn't want to put his two heavyweights against each other because he'd rather keep them fighting underneath his umbrella and getting wins opposed to having two of them fight each other and one take a loss, right? Seeing especially that they're both going through that uh, reconstitution period or that rebuilding phase. But obviously it's something more than that. But when Waters said that, basically like he doesn't have to fight Ruiz, when Malik Scott came out and said in so many words, Water doesn't have to fight Ruiz if he doesn't want to. I said, well, damn, but what's going to happen? Now you see Fury, Usyk, probably not going to fight. You, you see... Hergovic's in the breeze. We gotta have to see what happens with Joyce and Zhang. We gotta see what happens with Dillian White. Because we just have to see what's happening with these heavyweights now. Because you can't you can't make me believe Andy Ruiz is okay with going two, three, four more months without a fight. Deontay Waters is gonna be okay going into June, July without a fight. That that's these guys need to be fighting. They're frustrated. But I'm not I'm not sure. What exactly is going on behind the scenes in the heavyweight division? But what I can tell you is there's something going on. And boy, times like this, I really wish the fly could talk. But that being said, when Deontay Wilder and Malik Scott, when those guys start talking in code, people tell me, oh, why would you believe something Broner said? Or why would you believe something Malik Scott said? That Broner's not going to lie. He may not give the whole story, but if he talks, he gives the truth. Or he may not say nothing at all. But I tend to believe some of what Wilder says. But I mean, uh, Broner says. But we know sometimes he may leave some information out. With Wilder, he talks in code. Like, you know, it takes a special person to interpret that. And that's Malik Scott. But when these guys come out saying stuff, there's some truth to it. But now, now we're seeing, we're not getting the whole story, but we're seeing that there's something going on. And I wish that we can get a bit more fidelity on what is what's causing these issues i keep hearing about paramount showtime and over a billion dollars being cut and you know boxing being effect, affected and you know i'm not sure about that i'm sure there's there's some truth to that but what i'm saying is i just don't feel i have any anything concrete where i could sit here and take that and run with it very frustrating who knows maybe ruiz ends up fighting dubois you know what i'm saying who, who, who knows what's going to happen? All I know is that this, I'm not surprised to see something like this. I, I knew there was something going on, but but I, I just think 
I put it this way. I'm not surprised to know Ruiz and Wilder aren't fighting, but I'm surprised to see that they terminated his contract. Okay? But I'm not surprised to find out that Wilder and Ruiz aren't fighting because that's what Wilder and Malik Scott, well, that's what Wilder's been speaking in code and Malik Scott's been translating for the last few months. And again, remember, there's really no talking going on amongst the heavyweights. There's no talking going amongst the welterweights. So obviously they're in a a, a phase of, 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 of rebuilding over there at PBC. And what I think they're doing is they're streamlining their stable of fighters. I think they're streamlining, streamlining their approach to fights. And I think they're really taking a look at their their budget and, and they're saying, okay, this is kind of the direction we want to go into the this calendar year and the rest of the upcoming fiscal year and the next few uh when we're looking at the budget they're looking at the next few calendar years and fiscal years and doing a projection and and i really think they're gonna sit there and have a conversation with fighters i said 2023 is going to be the year where fighters say hey you're not going to keep paying me on a curb but i really think that they're, they're doing a projection and they're trying to budget and plan and i think there's a conversation they're having with fighters saying look we can keep the party going you can stay over here with us, but this is all we can pay you. And I, and I think these fighters are out here thinking there's going to be more money somewhere else. Andrew Ruiz, I'm not sure where he can go to get big money. But who knows? Maybe Matchroom really uh, inflates their stable of heavyweights. And then now maybe they have control of the, the entire heavyweight division. Man, I think it'll be, I think it'll be a shocker if Wilder and Ruiz go to Matchroom. They're going to get big fights. They're going to make money. They're going to be fighting regularly. That's what they need to do. But man, you know, to see one empire fall and another one continue to grow. And it just shows you that, you know, there's all kind of crap going on. I, I'm, not going, I'm not going to go that, that direction. I'd rather take my time and comprise a proper video if I'm going to sit here and say, Eddie Hearn is doing something spectacular. I personally think Eddie Hearn, I think he's a great promoter, but I think I think Eddie Hearn has a little bit of dirt on his hands. You know, if you ask me, I'm seeing images of this man surface from, you know, years ago, not two or three years ago, further back than that, him and Kinahan chilling together. So you can't tell me there's some little bit of funny business going on. You can't, you, so that's how I see it. But that being said, we'll see what Ruiz is going to do. I know there's an article out here in Spanish. I'm going to go out here and read it, and then I'll do another video to, to kind of translate the stuff they're saying in that in that article. But, um, hey, PBC, man, I don't know what's going on. Some people say it's falling apart. I don't know. More to come. Y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents, in the breeze.